Welcome. This video is part of the free course, How to Create a Platform Like Shopify, with WordPress and WooCommerce. You'll learn how to create a multi-site platform with a beautiful homepage, a pricing page for the plans, and a custom login page. Also, you'll create a front-end dashboard with no programming skills needed. Follow the link in the description to take the course. The previous section was about setting up the WooCommerce products on the front-end. Here, you'll learn how to set the categories, attributes, and tags on the front-end. First, we need to open the dashboard site. Now let's create a new page. First, we'll create the categories page. Enter the WP Frontend Admin shortcode, with the URL of the categories section between the quotations. Now click Preview to edit the page on the front end. Select the page title. Now select the URL slug. The default template. And the dashboard menu. You can hide any unnecessary elements from this page. For example, it has several long texts that you may want to hide to simplify the page. You can also edit the texts on this page to customize it even more. Now you can save the changes. As you see, the page has been added to the dashboard menu. If you open a category, you can edit the form. For example, you can simplify it by hiding the unnecessary elements. You can restrict this page, and make it available for specific plans only. Finally, save the changes. Now we'll add the attributes page to the front-end dashboard. Again, enter the WP front-end admin shortcode, with the attributes URL between the quotations. Select the page title. URL slug. Default page template. And dashboard main menu. You can simplify the page, by hiding the unnecessary elements and texts. You can also restrict this page to only allow some specific plans to access this feature. Users of the same site can see their own attributes only or all attributes by other users. Finally, save the changes. You can open an attribute to simplify the form. Hide any elements you want. You can edit any text you want. You can also open a specific attribute term and edit the form. Finally, save changes to this page. Now let's create the tag section for our front-end dashboard. Just enter the title and the shortcode with the tags URL. Now open the page on the front-end. Here you see the pages we just created. Select the page title, URL slug, template, and menu. Hide the unnecessary texts and any other elements. Save changes to the tags list. If you create a tag, or open an existing one, you can simplify the form by hiding the unnecessary texts.
The page looks simplified and clean, so just save the changes. Here you can see how the pages will look once our dashboard is finished. In the next video, we'll see how to set up the WooCommerce coupons, orders, and customers on the front-end dashboard.